Hello guys and welcome to Jarelina's Reborn Nursery. Here I am with my beautiful journey and because I haven't made a fitting video in a very long time, I'm going to sit today and make a fitting video with her um, and also with you guys and change her into something different. Um, this is the outfit that I picked for her and we're going to be talking about prices, doll collecting and collectors. So let me have a seat. Okay, guys, um, sit comfortable and let's chat about the prices. Why collectors don't want to share what they pay for their dolls. Um, and this is a very, I will be in both sides because I was a beginner. And most of the time is um, newcomers or new collectors or maybe people that you know see this art for the first time and realize how beautiful it is and just to know if you can afford it sometimes you are like oh my gosh how much how much you paid for this doll but i will tell you something <laughs> i know the excitement um but th these dolls are expensive and um for one hand in one hand collectors um I can say it it's not that we don't like to say how much we spend because at the end of the day when we are selling we're going to disclose that publicly let's say when we post a baby for sale but at the same time guys um, it's something private and, and I think it's the way you ask because like for example in my case in my opinion or my experience um i have people like don't uh, that i really don't know anybody you know besides the people that message me that i have known in person so when you're messaging a person on youtube you want to explain your reasons or explain that maybe you are a new collector or maybe that you are um seeing for the first time this art and you would like to know how expensive they are i have done a average of the prices but i don't disclose that in the box opening videos i just say this is an average of so and so price like for example four to six thousand dollars this this doesn't mean that i pay six thousand dollars for the doll it just means something for the collector or the new person the newcomer to to know how much these dolls cost i do understand that you want to know i really do understand i was in that um when i first began and i was like trying to understand the hobby how it works what the because i was on facebook and there were words that were like i didn't know what it means so i was looking for guidance within the hobby but give me one second um one time i asked a collector and she never answered me <laughs> and i was like why they don't want to answer why they're so skeptical to mention how much they spend in their dolls i do at the beginning was very intrigued that's the main reason i was asking because i wanted to know if i could afford these dolls um and, and that was all, it was not a dark um, hidden motive behind it. But at the same time, guys, think about this. Is like someone that you have never met before invite you to their house for the first time? Are you going to sit in their leather seat and say, oh my goodness, I love this leather. How much did you spend with this sofa? Or, oh, I love your car. How much did you pay for it? Really? <laughs> That's something private. And when it's someone that you have frequently talked, you can gradually make questions. And sometimes it's appropriate to ask for prizes. But there's times that are not appropriate. And I, would, I have talked about this before. People don't have... A lot of manners today 
to message you and say how much is it cost how much is it like hi i don't know you can you say hello first can you say hey i'm from this place or another i just interested or intrigued i just you know saw this hobby or dolls for the first time i would love to know more no they just want to know the price and there is a way that you can ask you can go and message the collector privately and if you really want to know how to thrive through the hobby you don't know you don't have to know how much each collector paid for the dolls the prices are subjective and sometimes you see a doll and it looks like oh my gosh this doll should be very very high and and it, it isn't so the price are not the most important thing um, if you want to really know how much these babies cost and you're interested to start collecting my advice is going to be to do your research of course do your own research and look for a, a better way to ask that doesn't sound like how much is it like take your time make a decent message say maybe your name if you don't want to include that information because that's private well the collector have their own private thing you know they don't want to disclose how much they are spending with their dolls so you have to be conscious that this is private information so you should ask privately and take your time to know more about the hobby don't go in the first video and say that because I understand I was there I was trying to understand the hobby and how much the dolls were but it's the the way you speak the way you um, what's the word for that it's like the word you inter the way you interact with the collectors the youtubers or Instagram whatever I think it's not appropriate when you see a person for the first time you are not disclosing private information so that's what the collector is going to do the collector is going to keep that secret for them because that's private if you're going to buy my doll then i will disclose to you how much i'm going to how much i paid or how much i'm, I'm discounting this doll or how much is more valuable like some people send, sell the babies for more so so yeah i think you have to really um you have to really look for the correct words to not offend anybody because and not not offend anybody but yeah it's like a little bit of a cold way that people ask you for something like that private and i didn't understand it because i was new to the hobby i was like why these people is like this is a, not a big deal yeah but this is this is something that is public. So all the information we are putting here, a lot of people is going to see it a long time, you know, later. So, so yeah, it's private information. And if you will not like to say your name, your location, well, the collector can feel the same. They don't want to include that sensitive private information. Actually, um, I don't know, because I, I'm an open book in many ways. I'm not hiding it. I give people like a hint, but I'm not disclosing for the specific doll, like in the box openings of Journey, people is like, how much is it? How much you pay for the doll? I'm like, really? You cannot say something nice and say, hi, I'm new to the hobby. I would love to collect or something like that. You only can just say, how much is it? Oh, that make me sick. I will look for her um diaper because i want her to have bulkiness here so i'm going to look if i have the cloth diaper upstairs because i really don't know well guys for this part i have to do a voiceover because um i have the microphone connected but i didn't have it in its place so you will not hear anything but i didn't want to cut this part because I think she looks very realistic when I put the diaper and all that. You can see her full body. Um, so I just wanted to share this with you. And I really 
don't remember what I said in the video in this part, so my apologies. But very soon I will realize that I don't have the microphone and I will grab it and <laughs> I will continue the video. Um, so yeah, that's going to come. I'm sorry, I forgot the microphone. So um, it's not that, you know, we don't want to help. It's just this is a big platform. There's a lot of people. There's people that are not collectors that come here and, you know, say very, say very uh, nasty comments. And collectors has to be like trying, we, or at least me, I try to di di differentiate or distinguish which people is really are honest and you know about the hobby and they want to know more and distinguish what people is going to be mean and is going to say something awful in your channel so we have so many people saying so many things that we are a little bit you know a little bit more reluctant sometimes but you know be patient if, if you really want to go to this hobby you want to know more about it if you want to know how to find these dolls sometimes people is like who painted this doll oh my goodness and in the title says books opening from Cheryl Martin really <laughs> in the title is the name of the artist so yeah do your part do your research um, not that we don't want to help but yeah. when I was um, at the beginning I was looking for videos and sometimes I watched the same videos and I did my own research and I found very nice information and some channels that at least one of them that was one of the ones that I follow a lot and that helped me to understand about the you know the scamming sites because I saw in a scamming site they were selling dolls, but what's a scamming site? So I wanted the, the real ones. I wanted the, the dolls with all the features, with all the realism. And that's why I was looking for information and I found this channel and she spread the, the word. She showed videos of, you know, the legit site versus this scamming site. So, so yeah, for me it was very helpful. I needed it. If it was not for that, I will be scammed. So I do understand. I want to spread the voice. I want to help people out when they sincerely want to, you know, begin collecting or want to have a door for whatever reason. <laughs> so if you truly want to know more about this hobby, about the dolls, about the prices, do your research, ask the correct questions, and please explain yourself better. Um, don't say that people don't want to help you out when you are not explaining that you're new to the hobby, that you um, just saw this video for the first time, you would like to know more about the dolls. Um, you know, we can help, but at the same time, you have to be clear also and polite, please. Please do not ask for the price in the box openings. That's not gentle. That's not nice. If you invite someone to your house and you have something that is very pretty and expensive and you bought with a lot of sacrifice, <laughs> because this is the truth, we collectors are not rich, this is a sacrifice. And sometimes we have to sell dolls that we like to buy another babies, you know, another dolls. So it in, in, is a, a sacrifice behind everything. So, and it takes time. I uh, will tell you that now I have my, my silicones, but before I, I just have reborns. I couldn't afford to have what, four or five silicones and I have been past years between each of them, you know? Um, in one year, I don't buy like three or four silicones. If you follow me for a while, you know that had been years that, 
you know, in between babies. So I built my collection little by little. Um, but yeah, guys, um, just for the new, I think this is for the newcomers mostly. Um, if you are a collector or new collector, you are starting out collecting. Um, I would love to make a series like things to, you know, that I wish I would know when, when I started collecting that I learned and this is one of the things you know don't ask people prices <laughs> they don't want to disclose that if they are not selling the doll they are not disclosing how much they are spending how much the baby cost and all that it's like a little bit gross let's say to be like this is personal personal information and you're asking for personal information it's like someone go from the street and say hey can you give me your bank account number you're like hey what what are your intentions i don't know you so that's why collectors are, are a little bit defensive with that you know it's not that they don't want to help they want to help but at the same time they have to be cautious and especially in the times we are living now that there's so many scams and all that so uh, at least for example journey i have seen journey posted in many group sales you know they don't have her but they are going to take her pictures they um now they um, stole the videos and all that and they make a post and sell it or try to sell something that they don't have and scam people so that's why also we're a little bit more cautious about how much the doll cost because if they publish the price, I save the price and they publish it, they are going to scam people for more money because usually they are asking like three, six, seven hundred because they really don't know the difference between silicone or they don't know about scopes or anything. So they just tell the pictures and scam people. So so we have to have all that in consideration. It's not that we don't want to be generous and help. So you do your research, um, ask the correct questions, be polite, explain yourself better, um, and please do not ask the price in the box openings. If you want to really understand the hobby, please ask the correct questions for you to actually start collecting. If you're interest interested to start collecting, there's all the channels that have disclose how they have and I, I saw a lot of videos of that like how i built my collection and they are start sell, uh, saying that they collected reborns for a while then they sell a bunch of reborns and they buy a more expensive baby and so on so it's not something that if you're new to the hobby and you cannot expend um spend this huge amount of money you have to go little by little and build yourself up if that make any sense so i don't want to mix everything but yeah <laughs> just for the newcomers um if you're you know just seeing this video and you don't know what these dolls are you can look for more information you can search reborns or silicone dolls or i Usually what I see more was box openings because there I can see the artist work, the box openings, and I can say, I like this artist. And that's how I found Journey's artist, actually, through a YouTuber, uh, My Bella Bean um, My Bella Bean Blessings. I will put it in the screen because, you know, my memory is not the best, but um, she actually has a baby from this artist, from Cheryl Martin. And when when i saw that baby i was like oh my gosh and i love everything the packing was beautiful all the little details were like stunning so i love the artist i reach out to the artist and she was so kind and she explained me so well and i did the purchase i purchased the kit and the the sculptor sent it to her and just everything flows super well she was just an amazing experience with her artist it was an amazing experience 
She's not taking any customs now, but she's selling the babies that she paint at her own pace. You know, she slowed down a little bit, but she's still painting. Um, but, but yeah, you know, some people are going to explain you, but you have to be clear of what you want and why you're asking and your motives. Because sometimes, uh, imagine you, I reach out to her and she's playing me all that. And I take up a spot for her costume order and never pay you know so, yeah you don't want to deal with people that don't want to really go into the hobby or invest or anything and they're going to waste your time and, and sometimes money so go little by little do your research youtube have a lot of information there's plenty of channels here that share information about how to spend you know um, look for your dolls and you're looking for vinyl. What's the difference between vinyl and silicone and all that? So you do your research and then you can go and And purchase your first baby. But yeah, that's all I wanted to share guys um, As always I say I was a collector first. So for me, I understand when I have this kind of questions even though sometimes are they a little bit rough or I think without manners is the word like that's the thing that doesn't I doesn't like. You know, I like when people say hi and explain their, themselves so I can understand from where you're talking to me. You know, what are your mindset? Because I really don't know no nothing about the person that is reaching out to me. So so yeah guys, I hope you like this video and I will try to make a series about newcomers for the newcomers to see videos and understand how the hobby works if they want to really go into this what steps they should you know go through so if you're interested in that and you think it's going to be nice please let me know in the comments I always appreciate and answer every single comment sometimes it takes me a little more time I'm more busy some weeks are I'm a little bit more active on the social media, so sometimes it takes me a little bit more time, but I always answer the messages and the comments. So anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you, for the first time, you see these dolls and you want to know more or see them more, um, please consider subscribing to my channel and see you on to the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.